Hi everyone, Scott Winterborn here. Today we're talking about three tips for the absolute beginner video creator to take your videos to the next level. Let's jump into it. So what I'm talking about today are some lessons that I've recently learned the hard way. All right, the first tip I want to talk about is make sure you are focusing on your audio quality as well. A lot of times we get caught up in the video quality, whether we're shooting in 1080p or 4K, what our aperture is set at, or our depth of field looks like, um, getting nice, smooth, slow motion B-roll, all of that. We're really focused on how good that picture looks. We tend to forget about the audio quality a lot. Audio quality can really make or break a video. Check out one of my previous videos where I'm unboxing the new video mic go that I'm using right now. I'll link it right above here. So that's definitely a good tip is to make sure you're using a decent quality microphone. You don't want a lot of the hiss from, say, the preamp in the, the camera, or just getting a lot of wind noise on that little built-in microphone on your camera. So using an external shotgun mic with a dead cat on it will help reduce that wind noise. Picking a, a quiet area to film in will reduce extra noises that you don't want in your video. And bringing your audio clip into post-production and cleaning it up with, say, something like Premiere Pro or bringing it into Adobe Audition to clean up some of those ambient noises. And I'm actually going to be doing a tutorial on how to clean up ambient noises in an upcoming video in the next week or two. Right, the second thing I want to talk about is making a bit of a plan before you go out and shoot. So you don't want to get out somewhere where you're going to be filming all of your footage for a video with no plan and no real idea for what you want to capture. Your plan doesn't need to be super detailed. You can just do some bullet points to list out some various shots or things that you would like to capture. Also, just make a list of how you want that video to go. Your intro, your talking intro should be this, and I'm going to do an animated intro, then I want to have some footage of this location and then a little bit of b-roll and then some footage of this location just to have an idea of what it is you want that end result to be. Along with getting all of the footage that you would need, uh, planning a little bit ahead, say checking the weather forecast, um, knowing if it's going to be windy or not, um, that would affect your audio, knowing what the lighting conditions are going to be like, will help you understand the locations that would have the better lighting, the better lighting angles to capture the footage that you really need. For planning, right now I'm using both Google Docs and Evernote since I can synchronize Evernote with multiple devices and Google Docs is just available on the web, doesn't matter what device I'm on, I can still get to the Google Docs. That way I can pull up the actual plan or list of shots or list of locations that I want to capture while I'm out there on my phone and I can make sure I check things off so I don't miss anything. And the last thing I want to talk about is making sure you shoot enough footage. I can't stress this enough. Shoot enough footage. Heck, shoot too much footage. It is far better to have too much video than not enough. This may sound obvious, but even when I'm out shooting, I feel like I'm taking a lot of footage. I feel like I'm recording and recording and recording, and I start thinking, wow, you know, I don't want to run out of memory card space, or I'm going to have to go through all this when I get home. And it turns out, when I load this onto the computer and I start looking at it, I realize, you know, I'll have several shots of the same thing, but then I won't have extra B-roll, or I won't have other angles that I might want. And so really, it will seem like you're taking enough or even too much while you're shooting, but that is usually not the case. That's also where the plan will help to kind of list out a shot that you want, but maybe make notes in there to capture different angles. And then around this area, you want to capture some B-roll. 
So use your plan to help you shoot enough footage that you have enough to work with later. So you never know, some of that footage might not be usable. Maybe you forgot to change a setting on it and it's too overexposed or underexposed or there was just too much wind noise in there to edit out so you have to cut that whole piece out. And if you don't have a lot of extra footage, then you're not gonna have enough to fill up your video with. So that will do it for this video. Make sure you hit that like button if you like this video. Please click that subscribe button to see all the rest of my videos. I'll be coming out with more and more videos more frequently coming up here. And I will see you in the next video.